Hello, Capricorn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to your November energy reading. I'm Cindy. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm looking forward to seeing what November energies are surrounding you this month, Capricorn. If you find that this resonates for you, I would love for you to join my community here and hit that subscribe button as well as commenting below and letting me know because I always want to know who I'm reading for. Watch your sun, moon, and your rising in this series and let's just get started and see what November looks like for you. So you're showing up here in your king energy, wealth energy. So I feel like this is a very prosperous month for you. You may have a new income opportunity open up for you. You may have a promotion or something like that. You may even start your own side project that is actually going to produce you a lot of income. This is the Wealth King, okay? And it is you. You in your power, knowing your worth, knowing your value, and going after what you want as far as abundance in all areas of your life, really. But, you know, I do see money here so this also could be you you know going for a different job that you think pays you you know will be more beneficial for you and more profitable for you something better there's big changes going on in in our energy right now changes november is bringing big sudden unexpected changes good changes because we've through the eclipse and the uh the old cycle just coming to a close letting go of all the things that actually held us back from these good changes you know and so i feel like you're stepping into your power this month you're really stepping into your power this month capricorn and you're deciding how can i increase my success how can i increase my prosperity how can i increase my abundance and that can be for all areas of your life. And you've really taken the time to sit and think about what could be holding me back from my abundance? Who could be holding me back from my abundance? And you may may have cut people out or, you know, removed yourself from certain situations that were just, you felt drained and they just really weren't serving you. And now it's like you've called back your power, you're standing in your power and you're ready. You're ready for this upgrade that is going to start for you this month. November is a month of upgrade for you. I feel like I want to say Capricorn. Upgrade for Capricorn. Let's see more about this energy for November for Capricorn. Thank you. Thank you for this energy for Capricorn. What does it look like? Oh, yes aligning with people who are like-minded. Maybe you've let go of people you've grown out of, people that were no longer like-minded, maybe toxic connections or situations, and now you're aligning with the ones that are right for you, the ones that have the same goals as you, people who want to work together with you and not against you. So I feel like the for you, Capricorn, <clears throat> the overall energy of your month here is connecting with people who have the same goals and the same dreams as you. This could be romantically, this could be business-wise. You've got a lot of pinnacles here. So I feel like for you financially, this month is you are in your power and therefore it is attracting to you new opportunities to make extra money or to, um, you know, different jobs or something that you maybe want to go for. <clears throat> promotion maybe you've been at a job for a long time and it hasn't it's not paying you what you're worth and so you decide to step out and do something different take a leap of faith I actually see that here following your heart doing something different it may it may feel like a leap of faith but it's because you've gone through a transformation recently. You've let go of all the things that held you back. And now it's your time to soar. And you may have a creative idea that you want to run with. And this month, you just may do that. This is something new. Either coming in for you this month or you embracing and running with this month. 
There's some sort of new opportunity here. There's new fire. There's new passion. It's like you're following your heart on something here. It may be a dream that you've always had that you've never, you know, stepped out into. I have the empress in the heart of the spread here. This is you. This is confirming you being in your power this month. There is some big changes happening for you, Capricorn, this month, and you are just embracing your power like never before. You are saying, absolutely no, I am done to all the things that don't serve me anymore, that haven't served me. Maybe I've accepted love or I, or I didn't have good boundaries and I let people walk on me and I just, you know, I'm just done with all the things that aren't for me anymore and I am upgrading myself I am upgrading my life I am upgrading what I allow in my life and you're just calling in your power and standing in it like embracing your power a lot this month so the energy of the Empress is abundance and new beginnings like you have before you Capricorn a brand new beginning Today is the first of the month, the first of November. It's your day for a brand new beginning. What are you going to do with it? I feel like you've got some dreams, you've got some goals, and you're, you're moving forward on them. Whatever that is for you, Capricorn, I, I feel like you're just taking control and you're moving forward on something that is so in your heart to do. It could be, like I said, a dream that you've had in your heart for a long time and you're finally taking action on it. There's something here though that you've been waiting for, probably dreamed about. You had to come into, you know, go through a period of healing, you know, to prepare you for, for this. This is your moment of power. You're embracing your inner leader stepping into that leadership role for your life and really taking control and going after what it is that you want you're tired of nights like this you're tired of stressing you're tired of 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 accepting less for yourself you're tired of the lack and the struggle you're tired loss you're tired of struggle you're tired of of worrying about it you're tired of being in your head and and anxious and maybe losing sleep because you have so much going on and you just I feel like you just woke up one day and you were like enough's enough I'm done with all that I'm going in a new direction I'm choosing me I'm choosing what works for me I'm choosing to follow my dreams I'm choosing to take control and you do. You do. And I have the Ace of Swords here. This is a brand new start. We've got the Ace of Wands and an Ace of Swords. This is you having this, the inspiration to go in this new direction that's actually very successful for you. And or this is communication coming in that you've been waiting for. And or this is your breakthrough moment for you to just take it. You know, and I feel like that's what you're embracing is just like, I am done with what I was going through and accepting in my life. And I am just like, it's like you're wiping the slate clean and you're starting fresh as a whole new person. Like you're reinventing yourself. That's what it is. Capricorn, you're reinventing yourself. And you're starting a whole new chapter that looks nothing like anything else from your past. You're just doing what makes you happy. You're just following your dreams. You're just doing the things that make you happy. I've got the seven of cups here. You're doing all the things that make you happy. And you, you just don't care about anything from the past you don't want anything to do with it you're starting fresh from right now you're like this new reinvented you and you're going after exactly what it is that you want and I love it I love it 
I see you traveling. Some of you may be traveling this month. I see some travel here. You might be making plans for travel. I see you setting some really good healthy boundaries about who you allow in your life. And I feel like you want somebody specific in your life. Like you know exactly who you want to spend time with and how you want to spend that time. And it doesn't look like anything of the past. I have the tower here. This is sudden change. Things are changing for you because you have embraced your power and you're standing in your power. And you're going after exactly what it is that you want. You're, you've got the, the emperor here. And the Empress. You may be aligning with somebody very specific. And this could be going in your favor as far as, gosh, this could be anything. This is a divine counterpart if you're looking for love. But this could be also like a business partnership. This could be you embracing both the, the divine masculine and the divine feminine because you are so in your power. You have a vision. I feel like this is you. I feel like they're both you. Capricorn, I have not had this energy ever. This is a first. You're in your power so much. You're unstoppable. Nobody can compare to you. And you are just like blazing forward and going after your dreams. And it is causing a tower moment for others because you're just like, I am on fire and nobody can stop me. And I'm, I am not going to stop until I get everything I want. And you will get everything you want because you are like, you have this vision and you're going after your vision and you know exactly what you need to do and you know exactly how to do it. And you are going to more than succeed at it. This is you standing up passionately for what you want. And therefore, things are happening for you. Sudden unexpected changes are happening for you. And it all starts this month. I've got a Knight of Wands here. Somebody is coming in. Somebody likes this energy that you are in. Somebody likes your power and somebody wants to come in and join you. <laughs> and they are passionate and they are fiery and they are fun and they are adventurous and they want to take you places to see the world. They want to see the world with you. They're very adventurous. Could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. Could be somebody who you have connected with in the past, who you have very fond memories of. This is a really good happy energy here it's very loving and very home like like this person feels like home to you and i have a divine union here commitment wow you're embracing your power and it is literally attracting to you like a magnet everything that is for you look the Ten of Pentacles is everything that is for you. <laughs> your future does not look like anything of your past because you said, enough's enough. I'm reinventing myself right now and I'm going for my dreams. And you actually make them happen. It all starts this month. You're following your intuition and your inner guidance something changed for you with the, the eclipse something changed for you and made this happen something changed for you where you just said i'm done it's time to start something completely new you're just like reinventing your whole life and you are successful at it we've also got the ace of cups we've got three aces now and we have success so you're this path that you're on this path of leadership, you're conquering your fears, you're conquering any obstacles that may have been in your way in the past, and you're just full blazing for it forward into your victory here. 
I've never seen anything like this Capricorn. I love it so much. Ace of Cups. You're going to fall in love. You maybe already do. Or you maybe already are falling in love with this new you and your new life and your new cycle. You're no longer in this energy at all. You're just done with it. You're done with it. No more. I'm setting a boundary. No more. And you go forward and you don't ever look back. I see it all starting to unfold this month. You have a lot of money here. You have a lot of love here. You have a divine union here. I mean, you're changing your life from top to bottom <laughs> and everything in between. Capricorn, I'm so excited for you. Please let me know how these things unfold. I would, I really want to know who I'm reading for. And everybody else loves to see the stories of these things coming to light for, for those of us. Sometimes these are, these energies that I see are actually past energies for people. And they tell me that that was a confirmation of something that I have just gone through. And if that's you, I want to hear about it because it gives the rest of us hope. And we love to celebrate with you as well. So thank you for letting us know. Definitely let us know when these things unfold for you if they haven't already. And uh, hit that like button on the way out if this was for you. I appreciate you being here, Capricorn. I'll see you in your next reading. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if this, how this resonated for you. If you want a private reading with me, that information is below too.